So, lovies, I am coming to you guys to talk to y'all about the Shiseido Sinker Skin Self Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. And again, I have mine in the shade 510 Suede, but I love the size of this compact. Like, girl, it's bigger than my forehead, girl. I love the size of this compact. This is this is awesome. And you can never go wrong with a mirror. Um, I will put the price somewhere in the video about how much this powder retails for. Um, I know it can be found on their website and it can be found on Sephora's website and inside inside Sephora. Um, today is like a try on demo slash wear test, if you will, um, about the powder foundation. What I cannot do is give like a soul review on it because I don't wear just powder foundation. Like the only way I would, I, I don't like it. Something has to go up under it. Like it just has to, it has to. There's just no way I'll be out here looking like an ash monkey. And I am not about that life. <laughs> I am not. But, um, yeah, the only way I could probably do that is to do, like, a concealer and then the powder foundation. If y'all want to see a video of how that works, let me know. Because I, I can do that. That I can do. But something has to go up under that. It can't just be, you know, straight powder foundation. I don't, I don't know how people do it. If they do. If they still do. I know they do it back in the day. But today... Do y'all do it? How it work? Anywho, um, yeah, just stay tuned for how this foundation holds up with the wear test or whatever. But for right now, I like it. All right, so I've applied my foundation. I've applied my concealer. So I'm going to set up under my eyes and everywhere I put concealer with my Shiseido. Um, Sinker Skin Invisible Silk Loose Powder in the color or shade Radiant. And it has this little puff thing and it's a little push. So you just kind of like tap in here into it to get the powder. And I just lightly press it where I put concealer. And it really only takes a little bit. So, what we're going to set with is a new powder by Shiseido. Um, and it is the Sinker Skin Self Refreshing Custom Finishing Powder. And I have mine in the shade 510 Suede. Looks like this. Nice compact. Big mirror. That's what my hand is covering up and that's the shade and that's the little thingy that fell off which i don't use so i'm just gonna put it back but i must let you guys know that this was sent over to me by influencer for free in exchange for my honest opinion so that's what i'm about to give y'all first time using it first time out the box still got all this stuff about to use it about to see what it do so i'm gonna go in with a big powder brush and I'm just gonna dip right into it. And set my face. I do like the shade. I think it was a good shade that they picked for me. So I'm putting this, I'm just putting it back in the in the thing. Closing it up. It's a nice big compact. And that's a nice size mirror to throw in your purse and go. And I have the Shiseido Sinker Skin Self Refreshing Custom Finishing Powder in the shade 510 suede. And I like how that's set.
all right so i am two hours in wearing the foundation um i can't say that i'm a huge fan of the liquid foundations that i paired together but that ain't what we're here for we're here for the powder we're here for the powder foundation and that i like i like the richness um that it added to my face because one foundation was darker than the other so i added the other foundation and you know what i'm saying to give me what i was looking for but the powder kind of like rounded everything out so i'm liking it so far i will let you guys know as i check in so right now we sitting at the two hour mark like i said things are looking good all right so i've had the foundation on for about six hours now and i'm ready to take it off i'm ready to really like relax <laughs> okay because i've been doing the absolute most of nothing <laughs> let's get that out the way absolute most of nothing but i am ready to just you know strip down chillax watch some shows so i found the card that influencer sent me and what it says i'm going to read it and what the claims of the powder foundation is it says in sync always introducing shizato's makeup Sinker Skin Self Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. Honey, could y'all have found a simpler way to say that? Because that's a lot. That's a lot. But anyway, it says it's breathable, blendable, and buildable coverage with a multi dimensional effect that looks and feels like bare skin. It is very lightweight. I can I can say that that even though I have liquid foundation on, I don't feel the powder foundation was, it doesn't feel cakey you know how you can add a powder foundation and it just takes your makeup to cakeville this doesn't do that so it claims to have a medium coverage a natural finish 24 hour wear i would never it says you can apply a wet or dry anti-force technology which means it's resists heat humidity oil and facial mo facial movement Okay, and it says it has 16 self-adjusting shades. Okay. I didn't know I had all those claims, but that's good. It's right on time for spring and summer because I live in Florida. Y'all pray for Florida, please. Please and thank you. Um, yeah, but I like it. I really do like it I don't know how my lighting is gonna come off in this video it may be super bright and then it may be you know real dim the Sun it ain't going down but you know it's not as bright as it was earlier today and again I like it I will be using it again and again and again like it may be my go-to for spring and summer because of these claims girl I, I think I gotta use you again to make sure you hold up again that says resist heat, humidity, oil, and facial movement. Those are big claims. She said, oh, those are big claims. And I like it. I like it. I am so here for it. I am here for it. So if you have the chance to check this out, if it's something that you would like, if it's something that you think you'd like to use, try it out. Like, try it out. And if not, that's cool but i would like to see more um videos from shizato i know they're like a japanese brand so a lot of people should i say women of color don't really flock to this brand but i noticed like which eat with each product they put out they've added you know some depth some some richness some melanin to the lineup you know what i mean because it is you know fairly not our our jam <laughs> but i think they're slowly coming around so i like what they're putting out i like everything that i've tried so far and so far i've tried the um sinker skin self-refreshing liquid foundation with spf i've tried the sinker skin concealer the Sinker Skin um, Silk Invisible Loose Powder. And now I'm trying the um, Self Refreshing Custom Finish Powder Foundation. Lord, that name. That name, Lord, that name. Um, and everything that I have named, you have seen in my videos. Um, 
and I got them all from in Influencer. They sent them to me, again, free of charge in exchange for my honest opinion. I'm not gonna get up here and I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If it don't work, it don't work. And if it do, it do. And in this case, these products worked for me. The only thing that don't really work for me is the foundation like the liquid foundation i have to add like something lighter to it to make it work and that's what i did today so i'm basically wearing a face full of shizado like basically a face full of shizado this is what shizado is doing for me like i like the brand and i like that they have colors that suit me like i like that i like that a lot and i think they have one more shade deeper that's sketchy shizado like you could have went two three more shades deeper but um, aside, and I have 510, I think the next one is 530. I haven't checked their website. I normally just check Sephora, but I should because, you know, Sephora, I don't know, that may be the last one. That may be the last shade. I think the last shade is 530. Yes, it is, because I saw, I saw the swatches. So the last shade is 530, which I think could work for me as well. But um, yeah, that is my spill on this product, I like it. I will be using it again and you will be seeing it again. So until next time, y'all take care, loveys. Bye.